right, so that's the first book, is uh, the Robin Sherman book. My second book that I have read for uh, the longest time and keep going back to it, uh, is the book by Susan Jeffers. This book, um, I think if I was to do them in chronological order, just of, of you know, favorite, I think I would put this one as the number one book for you to read. Morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Linda Mwehaki Robbins, and on this channel we have some fun sharing life, uh, life journey, personal growth, self-care, uh, in order to help you become the best version of yourself. And with that said, guys, thank you again for hitting that subscribe button and the notification bell to be alerted when I upload new videos. Ooh, we got through that. Okay guys, as by the title of this uh, video, I am sharing with you my five all-time favorite books to date, to where I am today, uh, with regards to helping me on my journey to self-awareness of myself, uh, personal development, uh, becoming the best version of myself and all the good stuff in between. So yeah, let's get on with the video and let me share with you these books that I have. They're in no particular order. They're not in any order of preference or, or not preference. It's just how I've placed them here. And actually what we're going to do is we're going to start off with one that I can't find the hard copy of. Um, I've looked for it. It's not here. Oh, I feel creepy. I feel creepy on my nail. On my shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's just like somebody with their fingers uh, when there's nobody in the house and then suddenly you feel this creepy thing on your anyway, brains. Anywho, do not divert, Linda. Okay, so yes, let's start with the first book. My first book that is not here, I can't find where it is, is the one that really completely changed my life and helped me um, start creating a routine for myself and that's the 5 a.m. Uh, 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sharma. I'll put the, the book here. I think you probably, if you've been following me and have been watching my videos, you will see that I mention it quite a lot and I uh, insert that book in there. So, oh yeah, what I haven't mentioned is that if I don't have my books on hard copy, I have them on um, audio. There's an app, audio app that I listen to and um, yeah, it's Storytel, I do believe. This is not sponsored by them, obviously, but hey, Storytel, if you're listening, do your girl a favor so I can share a discount with, with my viewers so they can also enjoy uh, reading books. Anywho, let's get back on track. So it's Phil, it's um, The 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sharma. That's where I uh, started building up on my um, 5 a.m. routine. If you haven't watched any of my videos, uh, I will just let you know that I do get up at five o'clock in the morning on the best of times, 90% of the time um, I do that. So the other 10% I'll probably get up at six. So a big difference, it's, it's a lie-in for me. And even then I'm not really asleep, I'm just wanting to force myself to stay a little bit longer in bed for good old time's sake. And also depending on who's in bed with me. Anyway. That's another topic for my other channel, Lifestyle Channel. Okay, right, so that's the first book, is uh, the Robin Sharma book. My second book that I have read for uh, the longest time and keep going back to it, uh, is the book by Susan Jeffers. This book, um, I think if I was to do them in chronological order, just of, you know, favorite, I think I would put this one as the number one book for you to read. This book, This book will really help you um, define what fear is, really. Because, you know, I feel like most of our lives and most of our times is that the things that stop us from moving forward with, with ourselves is, this, is the fears that have been imposed upon us, you know, during our childhood, growing up with our peers. I don't know, with teachers, depending on where you went to school, what year you went into school. I mean, I'm from old school, back in the 70s in school, when I, and I went to school in Kenya, we were beaten 
just for getting anything wrong or just for the sake of it. So those kind of fears are, you know, were instilled upon us. And I don't know if you've seen my other video where I talk about building uh, your uh, utmost uh, confidence, unstoppable confidence. I talk about those fears as well. And basically, technically, we are born with two innate fears. And that's the fear of uh, loud noises and the fear of falling, which is also mentioned in this book. So this book, if you want to overcome your fears or even understand what fear is, and how it plays a part in your life, I recommend this book by Susan Jeffers. As a, in fact, I went as far as doing the training, uh, life coach training with this organization uh, to become a life coach, just because I purely, purely resonated with how the fear is described in this book. So really, I, again, this, this, this video is not sponsored. As you guys know, if you're my followers, I'm pretty new into this system. I'm just sharing with you the things that made a difference in my life in this book, this book will really help you define and um, uh, your your fears and why you're stuck and, and all the good stuff in there. It even has um, uh, one of the um, actually I can show you guys how how I have uh, you see this pink uh, see those are the pink places that made um, an impact on me and I wanted to read them like how it's quite simple. As you begin to grow, you will notice you no longer want to be around depressing people. Negativity is contagious and you will walk away feeling lousy after spending time in the company. So those kind of things. So this book really, really changed my life. It really did. Right, next book. Okay, again, thank God I did not arrange these books in chronological order because the next book is one that I'll put even on top of the field of fear, to be honest. In fact, I'm not going to say that anymore because I keep bringing out really great books that I've read. So I'm just going to say, oh, my battery, my battery. We pray, we pray. Jesus, let this go on. Stop rambling. Next book is this one by Inyana Van Sant. In the Valley. The, oh, sorry, not In the Valley. Yeah, The Value in the Valley. This book will help. This book I read, I think, over 10 years ago. In fact, it's probably one of the first books that I read. And this book will help define where you are at, the, at this stage of your life. Right now, if you read this book, it'll, it has sections in there where it'll help you define exactly where you are and what value is in where you are. So, for example, if you're in a depression or in a deep, you've, 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 you've had a breakup, um, uh, you know, and you don't see the light or anything. What this book will do is will help you see the light even though you're in the darkness of the valley. And, you know, help you to de 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 determine the blocks that are blocking you. And, oh, I, can't, I don't even know what to say. And it's by Indiana Van Sant. I pretty much have, have almost all her books, if not all. And the ones I don't have, I will check and see if I can get them. So, yes, this book will really, really help you figure out where you are and not even get you to the next step. But, you know, step number one is figuring where you are so that you can be able to see where you want to go. Because if you don't know where you are, how will you know which way to go or what you need to work on? So, and this book really does give you an insight and help you to figure that out. So I really highly recommend it. It's The Value in the Valley by Iniana Van Sant. We're still doing good with the, with the uh, battery. I think that was three books. We're down to book number Four, and this book you read once you've done all the other work, you figure out where your valley is, you figure out uh, that you, you know, you're in a good place. Because when you get to read this book, Think and Grow Rich, this is not a book where you, if you're starting your personal journey and you just pick it up and read. First of all, it's got so many pages, that's number one. And when you're um, down, depressed and everything, you will not get what is in the message in this book. You know, you'll be like, yeah, it's okay to say that I can think and grow rich and, 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 and all that law of attraction and all this and all that. And talks about how the, you know, American, uh, you know, uh, is it iron industry or whatever, coal industry, iron industry and stuff like that. I mean, when you're in a deep in a depression, it's not where you want to be. But once you've figured yourself out, once you know, yes, I want to, move to the next level after you've cleared your depression, sought help if you needed to, I would highly recommend reading this book before you read any other Law of Attraction book by anybody else. First, this is where most 
of those books that you will read have based their 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 books about on or they each almost all of them mention this book so this book is one that you can have and if you find that reading like this is so hard again Download, a, uh, pay for a monthly subscription for reading up or listening up and listen to this book. I think it's easier to listen to because to sit down and read. I have read it physically, but I've also got it on audio. So I highly recommend this book once you finish doing the work that you need to do to get yourself to a level where you can actually understand the message in this book. Yeah. And then, so now speaking of Think and Grow Rich, then we have one book. Uh, there were so many that I, I, I could have shared with you when it comes to strategies and how to, to set your goals and how to work on your goals and everything. But the one book that I found that I, is, is really well explained and easy to follow and easy to understand is by Jack Canfield, The Success Principles. Can you see? Oof, the writing really messes up the lighting. Jack Canfield's book, The Success Principles. This book really, I mean, it's, yes, it's a lot, a lot of pages, but each chapter has some work for you to do. So once you get started with this, this will really, really help you define your goals after you've read Think and Grow Rich. And then you take this book on from Jack Canfield and you actually start working on your goals or anything. I mean, the, like the title of it says, The Success Principle, how to get from where you are to where you want to be. So this, I think I've actually, in the way I've presented them, I've arranged them in a chronological order because once you read uh, Think and Grow Rich and it explains to you why, you know, the law of attraction and all that, and then you take on Jack Canfield's book and start doing the work, everything will start to fall into place. And he really has a really good way of explaining to you how to do the the work, how to set your goals, and the exercises are in there. It teach, in there it'll tell you how to do the the, the the work. What I will recommend is that when you have a book that requires you to, that is teaching you strategies and is you know you have to work with it, it's easier to get it in hard copy because um, the app that I'm using to read, um, you ca yes you can pause but you can't go back so easily to to a spot where you missed. Or so for example, you're doing chapter one and you reach a place and you want to stop and you want to go back. I find it quite difficult to go back in an app, whereas in a book, you can just put a sticky like this here, do the work, come back and continue. So guys, there you have it. Those are my five books that I really recommend and highly recommend. I have so many other books that I would recommend uh, for you to read. And if you want to know more, uh, just uh, comment below, like, share this video, do the work so I can do the work for you. Anyway, guys, so thank you so much for reaching to the end of this. And we have actually made it to the end before that battery packs in and you know the way I'm going like this it might just pack in any minute now and we're not having any of that before I do my end uh, closure for you guys so you guys um, if you have read any of these books and if they have made a difference in your life please comment below share your experience or share any other books that you have had that have made a difference in your life so that we can also read learn and grow from them Guys, I want to thank you so much for sticking with me till this uh, end and for actually following me. If you've been with me from the beginning, I really appreciate you and thank you. And uh, yeah, uh, the only thing I can do on this channel is share what has brought me joy, happiness, in the hope that it will bring joy and happiness to one of you or all of you. So with that said, I want to wish you a wonderful evening, day, afternoon, um, night wherever you are and i'll see you guys on my next video bye